Alright guys, how's it going? Since it's my birthday today, I thought, I'm going to be a big spender, I'm going to treat myself. So I bought Grid Modeler for $5 on Gumroad. I'll put the link in the description down below, you're more than welcome to check it out. By the time you add in tax, it's roughly around $6. Now you know me, I generally tell the truth, I've nothing to gain here, I don't know the developer, I'm not sponsored by the developer, and I'll just tell you straight away. Is it worth the 5 bucks? I believe so. Personally, I found it pretty darn good to be honest. Now one thing I know that will come up in conversation is, well there's free alternatives. And you're absolutely correct. You've got Carver, and if you go to the very top end, you've got Boxcar, which is obviously commercial. But personally, I find the workflow in this pretty intuitive, pretty easy to use. Now the best thing I can do for this add-on is just kind of show you how it works to be honest. So let's quickly jump into Blender. And I have the default cube of mystery. Ooh. I'll tab into edit mode and I'll select this polygon here at the top. And what I'll do here is, I'll right click and I'll enable grid modeler. Now you can actually see the grid on the mesh, I'll zoom right in just so you can see. And I can actually control, the best way to describe it is the resolution. So if I hold down control and middle mouse, you can see the resolution of the mesh becoming much more denser. Which gives me more points to work from. If I press the A key, I'll go into Absolute, and then if I press it again, I'll go into Relative Size. So what I can do here is, I'm just going to quickly draw something out, so I'll just do something very basic. And all I need to do now is press the Q key. And you'll notice that I now have a depth, so I can actually control the depth of the Boolean cut. So let's make it something like this. I can also control the boundary offset, but generally 0.09 is cool for me. So that's pretty much the fundamentals of it. Now it goes a lot deeper, and I can never do this add-on any justice to be honest, but what I'll do here is I'll select this polygon, and we'll go over some of the features. So if I right click, Grid Modeler, one thing I recommend you do if you buy it, set it up as a default keyboard shortcut because it just makes life that little bit easier. And what I can do here is I'm just going to quickly draw in something. Now you can see the operations on the left hand side, I can easily change these by pressing the S key, but I'd like to do a boolean cut, so what I'll do is I'll just do a quick boolean and I'll press Q and I get a nice cut. So one of the advantages or one of the features that I personally like is if I right click I'll go to Grid Modeler and I'll just draw in something like this. What I can do here is I can right click to drop the tool, I can select the cut, I can press Ctrl and V and copy and paste this in so I can easily do things like this. I'll press Q to do a boolean cut and there we go, nice and easy. So one of the new features the developer just added is the ability to bevel cuts. So I'll just select this face for demonstration purposes. Right click, grid modeler. Now my operation is boolean cut. I can easily cycle through these by pressing S. You'll notice that it does cut and fill, which tries an end on. Cut and fill triangles, or we can create a new face. But I'll leave it on boolean cut and I'll just draw something nice and rough. Way. So something like this, I'll press right click to drop it, I'll left click to select it, and then I can press B, and now I can actually bevel this. Now if I use the middle mouse button, I can actually put the segments up on the bevel, but we'll make it nice and kind of rigid, something like that, and we'll press Q and we'll bevel this out. And let's bring the depth in a little bit. Excellent. So let's take a look at some of the other features. I'm going to right click, Grid Modeler, definitely need to have that as a shortcut key. But right clicking is pretty easy to be honest. If I press the C key, you'll now see that it says circle edges and I'll draw a quick circle. Now if I press shift and middle mouse, you'll see the edges going up and down. And if I go all the way down, I can end up with things like a square, a triangle, pentagon, hexagon, etc, etc. So I'll put this right up and I'll make a nice cut. I'll drop the tool, I'll select it, control and V and I'll just paste this in a couple of times end up with something like that and all I'll do here is press Q and I get a nice bevel and what I can do here for example is I can select these faces and let's do an inset an extrude and I can easily start to manipulate the topology now there's a few other features that the developer's working on he's doing a really nice job of this to be honest and this is one of the reasons why I think it's worth the five bucks I think it's worth supporting third party developers and he's also got a few other plugins for free, so it's worth checking out either way. 
Now, I'm only scratching the surface when it comes to this add-on. And I know this will come up in conversation. There's plenty of free add-ons that kind of do the same thing. But to me, I just find it a lot cleaner. I feel as if it's a lot more intuitive. And I do have box cutter and hard ops. And sometimes the UI gets in the way. And uh, At the end of the day, is it worth the five bucks? Personally, I believe it is. It's your money. You do what you like. Do me a favour guys, like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, follow me on Twitter, support me in Gumroad, you know what to do.